Hi everyone, the topic today is apostatic pneumonia. Someone will say pneumonia is pneumonia, why will you call one apostatic or not? Yes, it is apostatic pneumonia. Let's go. Apostatic pneumonia is the kind of pneumonia that results from collection of fluid in the dependent region of the lungs. This is very common in bedridden individuals, particularly the elderly that are confined to a supine position or a combined position, not for a short time, but for a long period of time. Human beings, we are not expected to be static. Dynamic people walking around, active, but for reasons beyond our control, sometimes people are confined to bed and confined to a particular position for a long period of time, then it's likely that they're going to come down with a type of pneumonia called apostatic pneumonia. It is easy to prevent this just by rotating the line positions, moving or ambulating the individual, chest or lung physiotherapy. Pulmonary hygiene is very necessary here and is formally called pulmonary toileting. So if you are used to the term pulmonary toileting, yes, go ahead and do it. But if you are the modern age and you are used to pulmonary hygiene, it's all the same. Just get that done. However, there are contraindications to pulmonary hygiene. You don't do that when there is increased intracranial pressure greater than 20 millimeters of mercury. And you are not expected to attempt that when there is minor cord injury. If there is history of hemoptysis in this individual, suspend pulmonary hygiene or pulmonary toileting as you may be familiar with. Congestive cardiac failure is a contraindication. Don't do it in them. And when you find open one in the area indicated, hold on for a while. I will quickly delve into four stages of pneumonia. As far as apostatic pneumonia is concerned, the treatment and all other things, you could check my presentation on pneumonia or aspiration pneumonia. It's all the same. The, the first stages of pneumonia generally are consolidation, red apatization, gray apatization, and resolution. Consolidation is the first stage and it will occur within the first 24 hours of having the infection. There could be congestion wheezing and coughing. That will be followed in the next two to three days with the red hepatization. At this stage, there will be acidates in the alveoli. Then, if there is any way you can feel the liver, that is done mostly at autopsy anyway, it will be firm in consistency like that of the liver. That is why the name is given as hepatization. Gray hepatization will occur after the fifth day. And at this stage, there will be fibrin deposition and, of course, prulent split. And resolution will be the last stage where there is possibility of pleural additions consolidation and resorption, restoration of lung structure, and sputum production. In conclusion, please check out the clinical features and treatment of 
apostatic pneumonia by watching the previous videos on pneumonia or aspiration pneumonia or you watch both. Other forms of pneumonia will be presented later. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Kindly subscribe so that you can get this immediately published. Thanks.